Hi, welcome to Knives, Forks, and Goons. This is a, a discussion of food in all its forms. Food preparation, food, eating, restaurants, restaurants I've worked in, restaurants I've worked in for a day, restaurants I've tried to work in, restaurants I never want to work in, food in general. I think eventually we're going to go upstairs to the kitchen and do a little bit of uh, preparation. With any luck, we'll have some guest star chefs from uh, from the past, maybe from the future, in to visit us here on Knives, Forks, and Goons. Yes, Knives, Forks, and Goons. I kind of like the title. But I thought uh, I've been working in the food industry for a long time, at least 20 years. And like I said, sometimes just for a day, and other times for five, six, seven years at a time in certain restaurants. And uh, I'd like to think that I picked up a little bit of knowledge as I went along the way about what to do and how to do it. It's not sad I don't have a lot to learn, but uh, part of the learning process is disseminating what you already have learned so that you can fill in the blanks, so to speak. Fill in the blanks. I don't know about that. I watched that uh, Julia and Julia movie the other day about Julia Childs and that other girl. It's partial inspiration for this. I mean, it was an entertaining film on some levels. Anyway, I'm sure we'll touch on that again sometime. I thought it would be a good place to start by just reading off some of the places that I've worked because, like I said, it's been 20 years. And, uh, and there's been a lot of restaurants. At one point, I had counted up to 40 different restaurants. Uh, on my last count, I didn't reach 40, so I don't know how that worked. I'm pretty sure I left out a couple. Like, for example, the other day I was in the city, and I had to go from one interview to the next. And in the interim between one interview and another I realized one of the restaurants I had left out because I actually walked past it Zanzibar Blue which was underneath I don't know it's downstairs off Broad Street but it's no longer there what year is it it's like April it's late in April 2011 right now but uh, Zanzibar Blue is no longer there I only worked there for a day anyway they gave me a box with food. I remember it was some tuna and some noodles in it. And I made a meal for them. They offered me the job, but I ended up taking a job at um, Rose Tattoo on Callow Hill. Anyway, let me go down the list of places I've worked. And uh, that would be a good place for us to start here at uh, Nye's Forks and Goons. They're not in any particular order, they're just a bunch of different places. So let's see here. Cirilla Cafe, Fedora Cafe, Rose Tattoo Cafe, Rollers, McNally's. I have it down here, Jackass Tavern. I forget what the name actually was. The place was on uh, was on that street where Elephant Castle is now in Center City, Philly. I call it the Jackass Cafe because I only worked there for one day, and the guy who was in charge was a jackass. He was kissing my ass right up until he told me to get out. <laughs> is out of business now. He's not there anymore. All right, so Jackass Cafe, Fedora Cafe. Acacia. Acacia was right next to Fedora. Not sure if I worked there. I think I did some work on the walk for one time, two times. I worked at the Bertucci's in Center Cities, Center City, Philly, which is also out of business now. I worked in a place in Jersey called Woody's. Not the Woody's in Philly, although I'm sure that would be a fascinating place to to uh, visit and or work. I don't know if they have a menu there. The Woody's in Philly. TGI Fridays. I worked at the one on uh, Route 1 outside of Princeton. 
Blackfish in Conchahokan. I worked there for two days. Zanzibar Blue, Chaucer's, Rittenhouse Groceries, The Four Seasons in Center City, Philadelphia. I worked there for seven years. Zesty's, Conchahokan. No, no, no. What is that? Zesty's on Main Street. Uh, Whole Foods, Tallulah's Garden, Peacock Inn. Witherspoon Bread Company, Primavera, that's the uh, Primavera Pizza Kitchen out in Ardmore, Catalina, Magnolia Cafe, Z Cafe, Spring Mill Cafe, Seven Seas, Tucker's, Bayberry Inn, Charles's Seafood Garden, Take, Great Harvest Bread Company. I don't know, I think there's 30 different places there, give or take. And that's where I started. That's the beginning. Let's see if there's any place on any anecdotes I want to touch on to begin with. I've already mentioned Jackass. Sorella Cafe. I worked there for a bit. And then I left. And then I went back trying to um I need a new job. And the, the guys and the girl who were there, they were really mean. They said they didn't remember me. And I believe them. I mean, I'm sure they didn't remember you. But they were mean and nasty. Like, like the way some, um, some restaurateurs are. They, um, I don't know. It's odd. I guess that's why it's called knives, forks, and goons. Because there's a lot of goons in the industry. A lot of knives and forks, but a lot of goons too. Hopefully, we'll uh, touch on a lot of that, and it'll be entertaining. If not, you don't have to watch. See you next time. Knives, forks, and goons.